Congratulations. So you know what that means. It is time for our March monthly favorites. So let's go ahead and get to this video, my March monthly favorites. So let's get into it. First item on my March monthly favorites is this black denim jacket that I got from ASOS. Um, now I have a um, you know regular color denim jacket, but I've always worn a black denim jacket and um, this one was actually on sale for like $34 um, and I just grabbed it. Um, the main thing that I do like about this jacket is that it doesn't feel like your like your jean jacket. It has some stretch material in it, just like it's like made from their jeans. Um, and that's what I generally do love about this jacket is that it's not it doesn't you know it doesn't feel like your normal jean jacket. It's it's got yeah, stretch material in it and it's very very comfortable too. So yeah, the first item that's on my March monthly favorites is this. Um, jean jacket so the next item is on March was the favorites and I actually bought like four of these this month and I don't know why I just like having this in my closet um, just in case I you know can alternate you know and the item is black some more black jeans from ASOS now these are super skinny now I bought two pairs of these I, I literally actually bought about four pairs of black just this just the same style of black jeans this month. I don't know why. I now have at least 14 pairs of black jeans. Um, and I love the quality of the ASOS jeans. Uh, especially for the plus size. Now this is from the, the plus size, men's plus size line. And I'm going to do a video about um, the ASOS men's plus size line. Um, because I get a lot of questions on my Instagram about the size, the fit, and you know, just general about, you know, how, you know, it fits and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a video explaining, you know, that stuff probably coming up sometime later this week. But yeah, these jeans, the only thing I'm going to say is that they are true to size. I think I said this in my other, um, in my uh, favorite favorites that these jeans are really true to size. They're very, very comfortable. Um, but the only thing I do have about these is that I bought a pair in November and I'm short. I'm, I'm a 30 length in, in um, jeans, um, but I'm actually a 29, 29 length in jeans, but I, I, 30 length is like, oh, it's like almost dead on. It's actually dead on. Um, I bought a pair in November uh, of this same style jean, but the length was so, is so perfect. I literally wear those jeans out, like because like the length is so perfect. But these, I don't know. Like um, I bought about like my past two couple pairs, four couple pairs. Like it's like the length is like a little bit too um, long because it's like baggy at the bottom, and I do not like that. That's a little good with skinny jean. Um, so that's the only dev connotation I do have about these. Um, that I bought is that they I don't know it's, it's, not, it's like there's not a true 30 link jeans it's like it's like um, 30 and a half or something like, like a 31 link um, but yeah other than that they're comfortable and like I said I'm gonna do a video about ASOS Plus where I'm gonna pull some stuff that I bought from ASOS Plus line and just talk about how it fits and stuff like that and put it on so you can see and stuff like that so yeah that's coming up so yeah item that I am um, going to announce um, that's for skincare is the Shea Morrison Daily Hydration Face Milk Cleanser. Um, this is really, really good. Now, I bought this because it was like $3 on the clear section. Um, and also, the wipes, uh, which I should go get, but I'm not going to go get. Um, it was this and the wipes were $3. You know, at least give it a try out, but I did not want to pay that price that it was $4. Um, so, I was at Walmart one day, and I looked on their little clearance section, and this was sitting there. It was actually $3. Um, so, yeah. And, um... Basically, what this is basically is, is just a hydration mask. So it's not not like a mask that like detoxes your skin or anything like that. It's just basically give your your, your skin, your facial um skin, or your face like some type some some hydration. Just you know, give it some you know some life basically. Um, and 
that's what it does. It really does. Um, now, I usually have to take like two pumps of this because like one pump is not going to fill my big face up. Um, but I do two pumps and basically just rub it in and then just wipe it off. And it does leave my, my facial, my face really, really cleansed. Um, with a, it does leave my face with a really, really cleansed look and a very, very exfoliated look. So it does just hydrate your skin. So this does not even type away exfoliates or, you know, gets in those pores and all that. It doesn't do all that. It just basically hydrates the face. And that's what it basically does. It's a really good product. So I do recommend this product. I don't have any type of nail connotations about it. Um, this is probably the first product I've had where I haven't had a nail connotation about. Um, because usually there's something always wrong with a facial product that I have. Um, but this product is like the best for like hydration. So yeah. We we'll get into my music. I just want to say um, Azealia Banks is really coming for our wigs. Um, for all of us um, AD fans out there. Um, just know that she's coming for our wigs. And she came for my wig um, with moving on up, which is going to be in this little playlist. Um, she really came for my wig and she snatched my edges. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so Azealia is not playing with us. Um, so get your wigs prepared. Get your wig glue prepared because she's coming to snatch some edges. Okay? So that's all I'm going to say. So let's go ahead and get to my monthly playlist. Let's get into it. music playlist follow me on spotify all those songs are on spotify um literally all of them on spotify follow me on spotify for one my name on spotify is ronnie's i have a plethora of that was a big word i have a lot of playlists for starting from all the way from february i think 2016 till now like every month has a different playlist so literally you have all types of music you can listen to um, artists you can discover. I mean, I have everything. I even have a gospel playlist for all uh, you know, your gospel people out there. I have a gospel playlist. Follow me, they're all public. You can, you know, add them to your library and just go through all the songs, see what type of taste I have. Um, because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has a weird taste in music because I definitely have a weird taste in music. I'm not even joking. So, yeah, follow me on Spotify, Rodney Teasley, and just listen to those songs. Yeah. To the movies, any this month. I take that back. I went to go see that movie with Tyler Perry. It, it, it actually just came out this past weekend. I um, went to go see it last night. I um, went to go see it Saturday night, excuse me. It's called, um, it's got Tar Taraji P. And Santa. I'm going to say, I'm going to butcher the name of this movie because I know I am. Um, so, I'm just going to say it how I've been saying it. It's called Acrimony. I know I said it wrong. I know I butchered it. I'm going to put the movie somewhere over here so you can look at the name. I don't know how to spell it. I don't know how to say it. So, there you go. Um, that movie is really, 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 really good. Um, now, I was kind of, um, you know, I was kind of not expecting um, what I received from this movie, but because, you know, Tyler Perry movies are kind of all the same, you know, the, the family thing, the husband cheats, and, you know, you know, everybody knows how Tyler Perry movies are. So I was kind of expecting that same flavor from him in this movie. I did not get that. I got something totally different. Um, I was um, so captured from the beginning of the movie all the way into the end of the movie. It's very, very suspenseful. Um, suspenseful. It's very, very suspenseful. Um, and it does keep you on the edge of your seat. Now, the beginning of it was a little boring um, because the person I was with, they was going to sleep on the beginning half. But once it got to the good part, they want to wake up. That's all I'm going to say. 
was banger. I mean, I do recommend. I, if I have to give it a one out of ten rating, I would honestly give it a ten. It is that good. Go see it, Acrimony. I said it wrong. I'll put it again. Go see it. It's really good. But for TV shows, um, now. Santa Clarita Diet came back on Netflix with season two. Literally the best thing ever. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, I watched season one like a couple months ago and I was it um captured like from the first episode. Now Drew Barrymore is the leading role in this. Um, so I was kind of expecting some dryness from her from this whole time thing when I seen her on the, on the trailers and everything like that when I first watched it the first season but I honestly did not get that. I honestly got a very very strong you know character who kept me captured through the whole entire um, season and everything like that episodes all this stuff but season two is like the best season ever now season three now that is what's going to snatch our wigs that's all I'm going to say season two tugged it but season three is going to literally snatch us balls for all the people watch Santa Clarita Diet um, so yeah go watch Santa Clarita Diet and also I cannot forget about Jessica Jones um, Jessica Jones this season is a little boring um, I honestly fell asleep, er, fell asleep every time I attempt to watch Jessica Jones, season two of Jessica Jones. Season one had me very, very um, on the edge of my head. Season one had me on the edge of my seat, but season two, I don't know. It's just giving me boring tease. Like, I'm, I'm falling asleep every time I'm watching it. Like, I'm, I'm not here for it. I'm going to attempt to watch it again just because I like Jessica Jones. But literally, I've just been getting like boring teas from every time I'm falling asleep, every single time. But yeah. The 2018 has been fair to me so far. Like, I've lived my best life, I feel like. Um, I still, I know everybody's not probably not worried. Y'all not probably worried about this life video. But I have to do this life video just for peace people I have to do it so it's coming up um you know March was lit um I honestly say that March it has been very very great uh, 2018 has so far has been lit I have had you know you know haven't had to struggle like 2017 like I said I always I've said this probably to all of my um videos for favorites but 2017 treated me like shit. like I'm sorry to cuss but it literally treatment treated me like shit. like no lie um and I did not even know why it was treating me like shit because I am a very very good person like I mind my business I only have two best friends you know I my circle is very very close I don't deal with drama you know what I'm saying and why I have to be one that's going through all the BS that you know 2017, but honestly, 2018 is the best, has been the best year of my life so far. That is all of my favorites for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoy every single one of my favorites. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Also, if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Please do not leave this video without hitting that button if you have not been subscribed. Also, for people, for my subscribers now and for my new subscribers, hit that bell because YouTube does not um, sometimes, I'm not gonna say all the time, sometimes doesn't notify you when I have a new video. That bell basically notifies you when I have a new video on my channel. So hit that bell. And that is it for all my friends, you guys. See you guys on my next week video. Bye. Ooh. So the next part of my